And our word for today on this Wednesday of the second week of Easter, this Wednesday, April the 10th, our word for today is deliver. And here to talk about it, Deacon Dan Brer. So the word for today um, is deliver. Good morning, Ron. Good morning, Dave. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. I'm still glowing. You know, a couple weeks after Easter, life is still good. Um, So, you know, we continue to get these um, uh, ongoing stories about post-resurrection. And and I always find it fascinating that some of the stories don't completely agree with one another, because you just have to know that everybody was just so astounded in the middle of all this, they just didn't know what was going on. And uh, We certainly see some, some evidence of that today. Um, and this this word deliver, I think, is a link, linker word. Although it did remind me, um, I don't know if you know this, but I, I went to my neighbor's house to deliver uh, a, a roll of bubble wrap to him, huh. and he told me, "I oh, just pop it in the corner." But it took me three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> I've been there, done that. <laughs> <laughs> At any rate, so um, the gospel today actually is is taken from um, John, John three sixteen, which is of course very famous, um, you know, this, this whole thing about um, um, that God sent his only son. Uh, it's special to us in our family. We, our oldest son's name is John, and he was born at 316 this morning. So really? I found that fascinating. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'll back up a little bit. The first reading that comes before um, is from the Acts of the Apostles. And in this story, the apostles are in jail, um, but the angel of the Lord comes at night and lets them out. And the court officials say that there were guards outside, the doors were locked, but somehow they escaped anyway. And it's this very fascinating story about John and Peter being able to get out because the angel let them out. And it's probably just because it's the middle of the Easter season, but one reflection I had on this this reading itself is, like, think of this scenario. See, these guys are locked up in a prison, they have guards stationed outside, they get out anyway, the officials go inside and they find the cell empty. That, that sounds a lot to me like the resurrection. Jesus is in the tomb. The guards are stationed outside. He um, is risen and comes out, and they find the tomb empty. So it almost has that imagery, that, that um, throwback, if you will, to the, to the resurrection story itself. Um, but the linking word that connects all three of the readings today is deliver. Um, and we see that actually specifically in Psalm 34, that is the response to the first reading. It says, I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. And then it says, the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. And so um, this word deliver is key here. Uh, It actually, the the word deliver comes from the same root as the word liberate, um, which means to set free, to save, or to rescue. So the angel comes in the night, and he uh, rescues the apostles from the prison. And in the same way, Jesus rose from the dead and delivered us. He set us free from the grip of sin and death and the devil. So there's this whole notion um, that runs through the readings today of setting free or rescuing or liberating. So in the Gospel, that reading from from John 3.16, so as I said, it's that piece where he talks about um, how God so loved the world that he sent his Son, and it says that whoever believes in him will be saved, will be delivered but those who do not believe are condemned. So through Jesus Christ, we are delivered. We are set free from sin, and from etern- and, and, and we have eternal life. And so there's a really neat parallel going on here, I think. In the first reading from Acts of the Apostles, the angel is delivering the apostles from a physical prison into freedom. But in the Gospel, Jesus is delivering us from the prison of sin to live eternal life with him. So both of the readings are about deliverance, but are we talking about a temporal deliverance from a physical prison, or are we talking about a spiritual um, freedom um, that allows us or gains us um, some entry into eternal life? Um, I also find it interesting that when you think about the Our Father, you know, anytime we pray that prayer, what does it say? It says, deliver us from evil, and that word comes back again. You know, the Our Father is made up, really, of a series of seven petitions, and this is one of the seven. It's a petition to God to rescue us, to liberate us from the darkness um, that is uh, the world is imposing on us. And so Jesus describes that darkness in the Gospel today, and he also talks about how living in the truth requires coming to the light that is him. 
And so we've got that kind of that dark and light contrast, that whole idea of are we in shackles to sin and death, or are we freed from that, liberated from that, delivered from that um, in in, uh, our belief in Christ? So bottom line here, it seems throughout the readings, God truly delivers. He delivered the apostles from prison. Jesus delivers us from fear and from all evil. And Jesus puts it on us in our gospel reading today to believe in him and to come into that light. So it's our choice. We have to make the choice. He came to save us. Are we going to make that choice to go to the light? And if so, we will be delivered. And so deliver is the key word of the day. Wow. What a great reflection. I kind of hear your homilies. (laughs) Do you post your (laughs) homilies anywhere? Um, ordinarily they are. We have a, a YouTube channel uh, at St. Thomas More in Bowling Green, and it's a little spotty. Sometimes the homilies are up and sometimes they get missed, but generally if you run a search for that, they are available online. Terrific. Deacon Dan Breyer, thank you so much. We appreciate that. And uh, as we continue feasting uh, during this, uh, these 50 days of Easter, have a wonderful thank day. You. Uh, you too. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. And uh, we will wrap things up for today, but hopefully you'll join us tomorrow morning for the Thursday edition of Morning Offering with Ron and Dave. Make it a great day, and thanks for listening.